Hello children, welcome back to Unit 5. Remember in our previous video, we were dealing about social issues and we did reading A, the storied house. It was about Bayaji retiring, going back to his village with the dream of building a house, a home for his big family. Yes, today we will do the part 2 of this story, reading B, the storied house, part 2. Read along with me. The news that Bayaji was building a storied house spread like a cry from the rooftops. You know, everybody is like, did you hear Bayaji is building a house? There was only one storied house in that village and that belonged to Kondiba Patl. So you see, already the discrimination has come into the picture. Only the high caste person is supposed to have a grand house. How can a low-class person build a house? That Bayaji, an untouchable creature, should think of a rival storied house was too much for Kondiba to bear. Others also murmured that the untouchables were forgetting their position. Is it correct that a person from the low class cannot have a big house of his own? Just see how society behaves. Work on the foundation had started. Dattaram Vadar was given the contract of construction. The foundation trenches were filled with mud. What are trenches? Deep pits that are dug in the ground. So the foundation trenches were filled with mud, bits of stone and other fillings in order to prepare a proper base on which the building will be built. Work progressed with speed. One day, Bayaji saw Kondiba coming towards him and greeted him. It's with your blessings that I have ventured in, on this storied house. Ventured means has gone forward to do. He's being so polite. Baiju, you shouldn't lose your head simply because you've set aside some money, says Kondiba Patl. Do you aspire to an equal status with us by building this house? The poor should remain content with their cottage, understand? Kondiba remarked rather sharply, rudely. No, Patil, please don't misunderstand me. Bayaji was a little dizzy with nervousness. Sometimes when you're out to do something good and something comes and interrupts, you begin to get nervous, a little scared. That's what's happened to Bayaji. How do you say that? One should keep one's position. That's what Patil is saying. You shouldn't let a little money turn your head. I only wish to build a shelter for my family. Then I shall be free to breathe my last. Bayaji answered. Breathe my last means I can die in peace. Who says you shouldn't have a house? You can have a small house with three convenient portions, a veranda in the front and the back, and the living section in the middle. Why spend unnecessarily on a storied house? Patil gave his counsel. What is he trying to say? You build horizontally. How many other rooms you want? Just do not build stories. That has become a mark of superiority for Patil. I wonder why. No, but Bayaji faltered. He did not find the words to explain his situation. You may go in for a storied house only if you don't wish to stay in this village. I hope you know what I mean. Kondiba shot out as a warning and walked away. Other ruffians in the village threatened Bayaji in a similar manner. Who are ruffians? Rowdies. Poor Bayaji, everybody is on him now. The house was complete and the traditional housewarming ceremony was planned. What's a housewarming ceremony? It's an occasion where you call all your near and dear ones and show them the lovely house you've built and take their good wishes. Invitations were sent to relatives in different villages. The village elders, by convention, could not be invited to a meal or refreshments. Why? The village elders would never eat in an untouchable person's house. So they were invited to the ceremonial 
Pan Supari. It is another ceremony. Bayaji put a fine pandal in front of his house. A pandal is a nice lovely stage, a colourful stage. His sons worked hard for two full days on the decorations. Relatives started arriving, well-known devotional singers, singers who sing songs in the name of the God, well-known devotional singers, Kadegaunkar Bua, Parasu Bua, Kalekar Bapu Master, Jija Bua and Vitoba of Vadgaon came with their troops. Troops means their group of people and musicians who perform together. People looked forward with delight to the forthcoming contest among the various troops. So, each of them wanted to perform better than the other. What a lovely situation there. In the evening, four Petromax lights, they are a kind of a lamp. Four Petromax lights were hung in four corners of the pandal. How illuminated it would look. It lent a unique golden glow light to the surroundings. Guests were engrossed in conversation. Engrossed means completely lost, busy in conversation. With whom? With each other. Kondiba Patil was soon there. Here comes misery. With him was the thug Pujaba and four or five seasoned rascals. Seasoned rascals means people who are famous rowdies like Vitoba Gayatkute and Parasumarthanda. These people felt uneasy at the sight of the brand new house, the impressive pandal and the crowd of smiling faces. They are unable to digest this. Their eyes roved all around the place, roved in the sense looking around. Bayaji led them up the stairs in the kitchen. The first floor looked like a drawing room. The walls were radiant with blue oil paint. The fresh colour gave out a pleasant smell. Framed pictures of great men like Lord Buddha, Dr. Baba Saab Ambedkar, Karamved Buarao Patil, Mahatma Jyotiba Phule and others hung on the walls. Who are all these great people? They are the ones who always spoke for the lower class people. They are the ones who believe that everybody has their own place in society. Nothing can, can place them at the bottom of the chain that we have created in society. The loft-like first floor was filled with a pious and holy ambience. Bayaji spread a rough woolen carpet for Patil and the other high caste people. Patil sat quietly on that. His companions, rather uncomfortable, took their positions around him. Bayaji offered them the customary betel leaves. Remember the Pan Sopari ceremony? Patil accepted the leaves but immediately gave it back to Bayaji with the remark, Yes, it's all very nice. But why don't you accept the betel leaves? Bayaji asked nervously. Bujaba smiled artificially and said, It's enough that your offering is honoured. Is it also necessary to eat it? He's saying, We've touched it and returned it. That itself is an honour to you. Do you expect us to eat it now? We'll make a move now. With this, Kondiba Patil Bujaba and his companions rose to leave. As they came down, Bujaba felt as if he were tumbling down the stairs. They eyed one another as if to say, this untouchable worm has got a swollen head. He needs proper handling. I'm afraid they're going to do something bad now. Bayaji fed all his guests with a meal of shira and puris. Along with betel nuts, items of gossip rolled over their tongues and then the session of social devotional songs began. Do you see the contrast of scenes? Envy, jealousy on one side, happiness, joy on the other side. The moment these two clash, let's see what's going to happen. Among the bhajan singers, Kalekar Bapu Master has a superior voice. Karigaon Karbua was better at classical singing. Devotional songs were sung in praise of 
डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर एंड लॉर्ड बुथा डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर ऑलवेज फॉट फॉर द डेलिक्स ही वॉन्टेड टू ब्रिंग दैम अप इन सोसाइटी एंड गिव दैम रिस्पेक्ट एंड लॉर्ड बुधा वी ऑल नो दैट वॉट डिड ही टीच एक्शंस मेक यू सुपेरियर इन योर लाइफ नॉट योर कास्ट और योर स्टेटस योर डीड्स मेक यू सुपेरियर people swayed their heads in appreciation as the program gathered momentum that means it's picking up speed and vigor it was 2 o'clock in the morning baya ji was strutting about on the pandal strutting about walking about here and there he sat down by a guest now and then to inquire about his welfare when guests arrived don't we sit with them and say is everything okay are you comfortable that's what he was doing small children unable to resist sleep had dropped off like bundles of rags women sat in the front veranda bayaji's children were busy preparing tea for a second round if you want to stay awake all night enjoying of course you need a cup of tea they had put tea powder and sugar in a pot on a trenched stove again trench a small pit in the ground and waited for the water to boil the bhajan was in full swing i had a dream at night and my breast was full of feeling when the line that was the song they were singing most probably in marathi the group advanced from baseless devotionals like from the east came a horde of ghosts each one with seven heads to social devotionals so they were picking up a better quality of song each time they started a new song kalikar bapu master's powerful voice rose up take to heart the sweet advice of bhimaraya and bow down to buddha for the emancipation of the whole world i fly to the refuge means to the shelter of lord buddha i fly to the refuge of the faith i fly to the refuge of the faithful such a beautiful song the song rent the air it was vibrating filling it with joy and then the undreamt of incident took place you want to know what's that we will see that in the next video and i am uh, there's an advice for you it might be a little disheartening but we have to learn something from it so Keep your spirits high. See you.